Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over. I got someplace that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone. It's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home. Your name is written in the sky. It might feel just like you're on your own, but baby, it's not the lie. Remember, you were me. It was the day senior year started. Only one more year till I gained full freedom. At least that's what I thought. Rain poured down outside my old dorm window as I packed the last of my boxes, knowing they'd be magically taken to my new dorm. I was being forced to share a dorm with two roommates that year. It was supposed to get me ready for social experiences, or whatever. At the time, it seemed distracting. Why did I need to share a space with two strangers? For what? The experience? I would have rather been experiencing real life events. I needed to find my mom. And the last thing I wanted was distractions. Storm and your music can be heard all the way from the front door. I was casting a hex. Rock music gets me in the mood to ruin a person's day. You don't have to have your volume so loud, though. Music that loud could wake goats from their eternal slumber. You're so inconsiderate. Someone should teach you some manners. Oh, like you're so innocent. You drank the summer assignment I had for fucking potions class. You should have labeled it, Hazel. That isn't just your personal fridge. Everyone has access to it. How about this? If it's not yours, you don't fucking drink it! 
Guys, what's going on? Why are you so hostile? Who are you? Look, this is between me and my inconsiderate roommate. She's lucky I like her, or else I- Yeah, back out of our business. Get out of our room, weirdo. I'm your other roommate? What the hell? Uh, oh, um, well, this is awkward. Ugh, oh, of course, a nosy roommate. Hazel, hospitality. Look, sorry I had to walk into that mess. I'm Sage. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, interesting. Your aura is calm, but fidgety. Do you have a lot of trauma? Uh, Sage? <sighs> Look, I'm too heated for introductions. I'll be practicing my hexes. I'm super sorry about how you've spoken to you. My sincerest apologies. Neither of us are very social. <laughs> At least one of you is sorry. I'm Junie. Which room isn't taken? Uh, that one over there. Look, is there anything I can do to help? I feel really bad about what happened. Uh... Hazel! I told you to turn down your music. I'm not the best at dealing with confrontation. So I thought I'd just keep my head down and stay in my room. I mean, that's what I used to do anyways. Should be a natural. As a kid, I used to live out by a lake With lightning bolts, collecting sticks and secret handshakes I was invincible then, my heart so pure I had no fear, and those were the years that I hold so dear, and it felt so right, having you by my side, I would never I scared you. You weren't answering the door, and- It's okay. You just spooked me, I guess. What's up? So, Sage and I are heading out to get milkshakes on the corner. Uh, you should join us. It'll be fun. I'll pay as an apology for our introductions earlier. I uh, can't function when angry. 
So, what do you say? I'm good. I need to study. Come on. I promise you won't regret it. Fine. Turns out she'd be right. If that was the night, I'd meet him. They have the best shakes. I swear, they must put drugs in them. <laughs> Hi. What can I get you lovely girls tonight? We'll have three milkshakes. Uh, what flavors do you have again? We've got vanilla, chocolate, caramel, strawberry, and Oreo. I'll take strawberry, sweetheart. What about you two? Vanilla. Uh, caramel. Thanks. My pleasure. Those will be right out for you, ladies. Ugh, Griffin. Who's Griffin? You don't know who Griffin is. Do you live under a rock? Your family's evil. And you with it. Ugh. What the fuck? Someone needs to help that guy. You shouldn't interfere. You can't interfere. To interfere would be a death wish. Physically and socially. Griffin's a Hawthorne. What's a Hawthorne? Oh my lord, you really have been living under a rock. The Hawthorns are the richest family in all of Blackthorn. One of the founding families. It doesn't matter, that guy needs help. So either you'll sit here like cowards, or you'll help me help him. Really? <laughs> Fine. I'll do it alone. No, wait! They'll learn what your family did. <laughs> what they're still doing. <sighs> huh? He's had enough. Don't you think? Oh, get out of my way. I'd hate to hurt that pretty little face of yours. No. Leave, or else I'll make you. Griffin's face became blank with confusion. I could almost hear what he must have been thinking. Who does this girl think she is? But the problem was, I didn't even know who I was back then. Excuse me? Do you realize who I am? Nope, but from the looks of it, you seem like a privileged asshat with anger issues. If you think I'm gonna let you do whatever you want... <laughs> you've got a big storm coming, buddy. To me, you look like nothing more than a temperamental toddler. From the expression that covered his face, I could tell no one had ever talked to him like that before. I warned you, princess. magic against other classmates is against the rules. So is assaulting classmates. So I suggest we both walk away from this. No hard feelings, right? On one condition. And what may that be? You will come to my place tomorrow night. I want to... talk. You really are intriguing. <laughs> Fine. will be fun. I'm so excited to see what you have hidden away. Can't wait. <laughs> Black coffee. Y yes sir. Get out of here. Uh, are you sure? I'm, I'm sorry about that. I, I didn't mean to get anyone else in danger. As if. Go. Now. <laughs> I hoped desperately that the guy would leave and not look back. I had no clue why I cared so much that he stayed away. Fate, maybe? I stood there nervously, trying to hide that I was trembling. I had no clue what I had gotten myself into.